All right, we're here with Kel, and guess what he has? A DeLorean. This is a DeLorean here. What year is your model year is your DeLorean? 81. And which model years did they make them? 81, 2, and 3. Okay. And yours, 81, 2, 3. Okay. Uh, so this is the first model year, so we're going to go back to the future with the car. So what do you like about the car? I mean, this is a very unique car. You don't see these around too often. Exactly. That's why I like about it. So you like the uniqueness of it. You like the ride and handling? I know it's a little older. And it rides a lot like a go-kart. Okay, that's good. It's, it's, it's not like driving a Porsche. <laughs> Everything's all, all manual. Manual okay. steering, manual brake. I kind of like that. I, my Corvette had power. that. You get more of the feel of the road when yeah. you're driving. Well, you have less help, for sure. That's what I liked about my old Corvette, is that you are doing everything. It won't be as good as a modern car. Well, maybe it is better than a modern car, depending on what your criteria is. So let's take a look at the car. Look at this thing. This is awesome. We'll take a walk around. Cal will get the doors open for us. You have a flux capacitor in there? Yes, I do. All right. And how many miles per hour did you have to go to the future? Is it 87 or 88? 88. 88. Okay. So you've gotten it to the future with 88? Good, good. Okay, cool. Here we go. Come all the way around. Still all original except for a few engine upgrades. Well, at the, this point in time, I got to say, and having owned a car for 31 years, it's hard to uh, keep it all original because just re replacement parts, sometimes they have to be substituted, unfortunately. Yeah, this is nice. Wow. Well, why don't you open the doors for us and let's see what it looks like on the inside. And also with the wings, the doors up, it looks pretty cool, by the way. Everybody likes the feel of looking straight through the doors. That's right. So he's got the driver's side, passenger side. And look at that. There's Kel on the other side. Hey, Kel. Probably can't hear him. So let's take a look at the interior. Oh yeah, you're back to the future with this here. 1981, you said. Look at this, man, this is cool. I did get to go for a ride in a DeLorean in the past. It's pretty cool. Here's this flux capacitor. Oh, check that out, check that out, check that out. I should stop talking so much and just show it. It says, disconnect capacitor drive before opening. Okay, it says shields from, shield eyes from lights. Ah, boy, I like to read better. Went to Chicago Public School, sorry about that. Yeah, this looks cool. Very, very nice. You don't see these around too often. Engine is a PRV Peugeot Renault Volvo. Uh, originally only 130 horsepower. Okay. I've done what's called a stage two, so now it's about 200 horsepower. Whoa, this will get you so the future. It made a major difference. Okay. So we should bear, it does bear saying uh, the engine is in the rear, in case you guys didn't know. Is this considered rear engine or mid engine? Rear. So this is a rear engine, just like the Porsche, where the engine is behind the rear axle. Mid engine would be in between the two axles. So uh, probably everyone knows it, but just in case someone's watching, so just interested in DeLoreans. Yeah, this is very cool. And not just the engine either. Yeah, this is nice. Compartments open and windy, so maybe you don't hear me. Not much difference in the years 81, 2, and 3. The only difference really that can be told is uh, the hood, the gas flap. It's There's mostly only... gas flap there. I, I know what you're talking about, but the other people might The first half of the first year had the gas flap. Which one's had it? The first year? The first half of the first year. First okay. half of 81. Oh. Everyone else has to open the entire trunk okay. to fill the gas. And here you go. The trunk has a lot of room. Look at all the chairs in there and stuff and yeah. things you need to keep the car running. A very small spare underneath there. Okay. The second half of 81, they got rid of the uh, gas flap. It still had the ribs in here. Then for 82, they got rid of the ribs. In 83, they started putting like a little uh, DeLorean plate on the hood. Okay, I can't remember. Right? I've seen a lot of uh, DeLoreans recently and I can't remember what they all look like. Okay. Most of the difference is like just the uh, decorative side stripes on them. There's like three different variations. 
of that. Some don't have anything. Some have a little thin little stripe. I like the thick stripe. Looks more uh, yeah, we'll like a, a racing stripe. Yeah, you can see it's a lot thicker here for sure. Don't know what the other ones look like because we don't have something to compare, but yeah, I could see what you're talking about. Yeah, there the we go. The other one's got like a thin stripe that goes right oh, about here. Oh, okay. No, I did not notice it. Okay. Know that, I should say. Yeah, some of them have that, and a lot of them just have the solid without the black stripe here. Okay. And then there's lighter and darker colored rims. Mine are the dark colored rims that are the more rare. Okay. Well, I would well, imagine this is rare like just because it's an uh, early, uh, early DeLorean. I mean, it just has the gas flap on the hood. Yeah. So well, what is something like this worth approximately today? Approximately. Uh, well, the way we usually put it is to have a decent running DeLorean, you're going to spend about 30 to 40 grand. Okay. So I think that's... Whether you buy one for 20 and put 20 into it or buy a perfectly running one. Well, I think that's pretty reasonable for a car like this that's so unique. And I mean, I've only seen them at car shows and well, when we're cruising around. So you spend more on parts fixing them up. You know, kind of like a Jaguar. It's not all that rare, but uh, if you need to fix it, it's going to cost yeah, you. Yeah, it's not going to be easy either. Yeah, because I imagine there's not uh, parts that are plentiful, say for like a Camaro, you know, a Chevrolet or a Ford. Uh, well, luckily, sports they car, have all the parts in Texas. Okay, good. So you are able to source, and that's good. Okay, we're a little further back on this car than we were at the others because uh, my RS is pointed. Park right in front of me. Oh, that sounds good. Sounds like a sports car. Let's see the. Okay, he's gonna back up. I'll get out of the way. Marty driving the DeLorean. 